And the reason why I say ideal start for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, first and foremost, is health. No big-time injuries. You look at Yaya Diaby, he should be back in the first week. There's a couple other guys with some nagging injuries, but nothing crazy. Nothing season-ending outside of Sua Opeta, who would have been a backup anyway. So that right there is a great start. New addition to the coaching staff, Liam Cohen. Early returns for this Buccaneers offense is overwhelmingly positive. We've seen it throughout training camp. We've seen it in the preseason games, especially in the game tonight against the Miami Dolphins on that first drive, where that was one of the cleanest drives that we've seen from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Raymond James Stadium in the last three years. That was clean as a whistle. Also, your draft class. Just look at these guys. Graham Barton wins the starting job. Chris Braswell finishes the preseason with the sack. You've seen really good plays from guys like Tyke Smith. Jayla McMillan with the big grab tonight. Let's not forget Bucky Irving. He is easily the RB2 of this team. He's a guy that can return some kicks. He's dynamic. He's fun to watch. He's hard to bring down. You've seen a lot from the seven guys that they've drafted. You wanted to see Zion McCollum take a step forward. He picks off Tua Tunga Vailoa in the first play of 11 on 11s in joint practices the other day. The guys you're looking to step up, they have. KJ Britt, starting middle linebacker, taking over for Devin White. He is the guy that leads the charge at the end of stretching every single day. He stepped right into that leadership role. Todd Bowles looks at ease. He looks like he's as happy as he's ever been with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. There's just so many good things happening with the Tampa Bay Bucks right now that you have to be happy as a fan base. It is an ideal start for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and that should give you hope going forward into the regular season. They've won the division three years in a row, and I think some of the things that they really needed to work on, fixing the interior offensive line, fixing the play calling, getting a little bit deeper at the skill positions, they did all three of those things. So why don't people have more faith in the Buccaneers? I don't know. Then, oh, yeah, let's not forget. Let's show love once uh, more. Got to show love to Chase McLaughlin. Finishing the preseason on a high note, making all four of his kicks. That is what you want to see from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Offense, defense, special teams, rookies, veterans, coaches, all on the same page. So the sky is the limit for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2024. And the start, ideal. This is the kind of start that you need if you want to get this season off on the right foot. And I think that's exactly what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have done.